Coming all the way from Pew Walla, please welcome to the stage Heather Rossborough, everyone. Tacoma, land of the beautiful people. Not like us in Shelton, see? My boyfriend's mother dressed me up and chose his outfit while I was out cold. <laughs> oh well, it's okay if you like burnt out leftover hippie stuff. <laughs> and the sex is really good, it's amazing with his mother. <laughs> I like watching them, incest, the game the whole family can play. <laughs> I don't judge, I just get laid. I went to Alaska looking for nuggets of love. If that sounds dirty, good, it should. Lots of men in Alaska. It's just that while the odds were good, the goods were odd. <laughs> And it's hard to find love in Alaska if you don't like the smell of moose. <laughs> so I moved to Shelton. <laughs> where you can still hear logger talk like, use the misery whip on that beaver bait and make me a monkey blanket, you donkey puncher. <laughs> Those words still remind me of my very first date. <laughs> what they mean, I don't know. I'm not a scientist. <laughs> yeah, I put on a few extra curves here lately. I prefer calling them speed bumps because that way, when men see me, they have to slow down. <laughs> As a bonus, my boyfriends are now calling me Moo. Not because they're big, because I lactate. <laughs> Being a cougar is fun. I like giving the young men lots of money to take care of me, plastic surgeons, because when they find the right spot, and I'm not talking about my OMG whiz spot, it's like, yes, that's it, right there, hold it, you've got it. Now do your thing, baby, and suck that stuff out. <laughs> I found a giant bottle of Viagra at my boyfriend's. I did what any respectable lady would do, I made him take five of them. <laughs> he was scared at first. He goes, what if I have an erection for longer than four hours? You'll have to take me to the hospital. Like I was gonna do that. <laughs> Look here, homo erectus. <laughs> I will tie you up and wear you down. <laughs> Like a pencil sharpener. <laughs> that is what I said. He turned into a crafty artwork sex machine. He discovered treasures in my caverns never known before. <laughs> Not even to my plastic surgeons. <laughs> and when we were done, I was happy as a clam at high tide, and so was my gooey duck. <laughs> And he was still oozing more goo than my duck. I don't judge. I just get laid. That's my time. Thank you.